Shock and anger are the best ways to describe public reaction to damage at a special needs playground that's yet to officially open. The playground was awaiting the finishing touches when somebody vandalized it. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Killer live for us in Wilkesbury to explain. Mark. Nick and Candace Eyewitness News has covered construction of this special needs playground ever since the first phase kicked off last fall. Now that the, the playground has been damaged here because of what was supposed to be an opening next week, that damage needs to be assessed and then repaired. As parents and grandparents brought their children Thursday afternoon to the traditional playground area at Kirby Park, they noticed caution tape surrounding the new special needs playground. It's just really unfortunate. I mean, look how beautiful it looks and you have already damage. Right near a bench below the special needs zip line is where someone dug up some of the poor in place rubber playground surface. It's very unfortunate. Somebody just tried to, you know, damage the things since it's a very nice uh, place for handicap. Despite a fence to keep everyone out, someone mangled that fence and gouged the surface base, which cost more than $100,000. And for this to happen um, is, is upsetting for a lot of reasons um, that are probably don't need to be stated. Wilkesbury Mayor George Brown took photos of the damage, which he noticed on Wednesday when he checked out the rubbery playground surface. It had just been installed during the Labor Day weekend. Someone definitely walked on it when it wasn't cured but also someone took pieces and just chopped it out and cut it out. The damage wasn't all he discovered. I also found some uh, alcoholic beverage cans, empty cans. So whoever was in there was drinking alcoholic beverages. Mayor Brown says he's relieved the 11 pieces of special needs playground equipment weren't damaged. Now his administration is taking steps to help prevent vandalism from happening again here, including nighttime police patrols and locking the parking lot gates. And that's not all. We have to install a new pole, put new lighting up over there for the special needs park, but also I ordered a high definition cameras. We're going to see what's going on over there 24 seven. Mayor Brown says police actually arrested someone here last night for trespassing after dark. In the meantime, the company that installed that rubbery playground surface is expected here next week to take a closer look at the damage and determine the best way to either repair or replace it. As for the playground's actual opening, that date is yet to be determined. Candace and Nick. Let's hope they can repair yeah. it without uh, too much expense. Mark, thanks.